Hey friends, it's Avilda here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be tackling the kitchen. Um, as you can see here by the video, it is a mess. It's super sloppy. Things are everywhere. So I'm just going to jump right in and start cleaning, putting things away, and washing some dishes. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Again, my name is Avilda and this is Hip and Creative where I share lifestyle videos such as cooking, cleaning, DIYs, and some home renovation projects. Um, I would love it if you join me and hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post future videos. I plan on posting every week, eventually doubling the videos to two times a week. So if you love these types of videos, definitely join us. In my bed, five to 12, wish I could sleep. Dream about all the ways you could reach me. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that in the past I've mentioned that as um, growing up and even as an adult, I've never had a dishwasher. And um, to be honest, I didn't know what I was missing. Uh, initially, I used to love doing dishes by hand, but over time, I just like the freedom of having a dishwasher gives me to be able to move on to other um, things that need to be done around the house and not spend the 15 minutes and dishes. I could just throw them in the dishwasher, walk away and do something else and then dishes are going to be done within the hour and I think that's great. So here I'm just giving my faucet a good little scrubbing. I hate when the buildup goes around the faucet area because on my mind I think that's what's going in our food and drinking water. So I like to kind of clean that up a little bit as well as wipe down the sink. I do this about once a week of really good scrubbing. Now I'm just wiping down the faucet and the countertop so that I don't have a lot of water built up around the sink. Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? I did notice that when I was wiping down the countertop here that I had a little bit of buildup on the corners of my sink and I didn't want that to accumulate. So I decided to grab my barkeeper's friend and just give it a good scrubbing to make sure that I got all the corners and all the sides. I just like it when it's a nice clean shiny sink. So as you can see here, I am filling up my sink with some hot water 
and I'm putting in my stove top those grids uh, I'm going to be soaking them in really really hot water for a few minutes and then I'm going to be adding some dishwashing tabs I find that that works really well to kind of break up all the buildup of grease and oil that's on those grids I'm also going to be adding my uh, burner covers as well as the knobs for the stove So I'm going to be wiping down my stove here with this easy off fume free spray. I just gave it a good good shake and then I'm just going to spray it all over the cooktop. I'm trying to see if this is going to help remove some of the build up and caked on burnt food particles that got left behind overnight. And um, so far some of the other things that I've tried haven't been working well for me. So if you do have any suggestions on how to remove any cooked on build up of food on the stove. Definitely let me know in the comments down below because this is something that I constantly struggle with and I would love to find a fast and easy way to get rid of some of that buildup. So as you saw here, I'm just adding some of the dishwasher tabs. I added three to the really piping hot water and I'm just going to let it soak for about an hour. Hopefully that will get rid of some of the buildup that's um, on the grids as well. Right now I'm concentrating on the exterior of my stove. I am going to be filming a video in which I concentrate on cleaning the, the forgotten parts of the stove as well as the inside of the oven because that is really really bad. Um, some food got spilled inside there when we were baking and I never got around to cleaning it up and it's a little embarrassing to have all that build up in there so I am going to be tackling that and sharing that video with you very shortly but for now I'm just going to be concentrating on the outside of my stove. So it's been over an hour and I'm now draining my sink. I'm going to be scrubbing down these um, grids here. Uh, just trying to get off most of the caked on food that was left on there. Uh, it actually was working very very well. I think I would have left it a little longer than an hour because some of the corner pieces were a little bit difficult to take off but for the most part it worked very well. I do recommend that if you do have a sink large enough 
to put your uh, grids in there, definitely do so. If not, maybe have a large Tupperware container, or I'm sorry, a storage container, and you can fill it with some uh, as hot as water as you can, and just let it soak for about an hour, maybe a little more than an hour if it's really, really bad, and then just test it out and see if you can like easily wipe off or scrub off some of the pieces, and then definitely uh, have at it and clean it. I do recommend trying this trick if you can. It really did work and it helped me to kind of not have to scrub as hard as I normally would. I saw this trick on TikTok where you take the Wyman's uh, spray, the one for stainless steel, and you spray it on your burner's grids, and you let it sit for like a minute, and then you wipe it down, and it's supposed to restore the white parts back to being black again. And I'm testing it out to see if it works. It, it does, it does give it a little bit of a shine. I think I should have left it for a lot longer than a minute because I don't think I was patient enough, but I just want to test it out and then just put them back on the oven. But I have to say, it really does make it look a lot less white. Uh, so it did make it look a little bit shinier and nicer. So if you want to try that out, definitely use the Wyman products. I wanted to share this other trick that I do sometimes for my uh, sink. And that's to give it a nice little shine by buffing in either olive oil or you can even use some baby oil and some people even recommend that you try the Wayman's um, stainless steel on your sink but I thought I'd give olive oil a try and kind of shine up my sink so I wanted to share with you the before of what it looked like before I shine the sink and then the after of what it looks like after I put some of the olive oil there so I think it gave it a nice little shine and made the entire sink look brand new so I just finished off the entire sink at the bottom just to show you that it does work and makes your sink nice and shiny and I love it. So here we have a clean kitchen. I absolutely am very happy with the end results. Um, I hope some of these tricks were very uh, helpful for you. If you do like them and try them out, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you have any other tricks that you want to share with me, definitely again leave them down in the comments below. I would definitely love to hear any tricks that would help me make it a lot easier to clean. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you all stay safe out there. Until next time guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.